Welcome to the Pope on Film. I am Bunny Williams, and with me is... I am the Pope in question. My name is May Lynn. I am the founder of the Church of Ed Wood, which is an actual thing worth a Google. This is episode 450 of the podcast. Yes, yes, Little Lebowski Urban Achievers, and proud we are of all of that. I'm noticing that it says the Pope on film number 449, Flesh Eating Mothers, underneath us currently, oh. but that's okay. How and long also, did that happen? I, I, I just I, I just want to bring it up in the opening, which I like. Uh, you misspelled the word starring. It says staring, which is fine because I do a lot of I, staring. I always get confused if it's one R or two R's. It is okay. It is okay. It, you know me. I'm always striving for perfection. But this flesh-eating mother's thing, I know I changed that, so I don't know how the fuck that happened. I don't know. But it is episode 450. It's the regardless. real mob. Yeah. Once again, the liberal left. So uh, this is episode 450, and I'm going to be honest with you, Bunny. Uh, I have got a great monologue. And then HAP this week, our historic uh, educational section, great. And I've got a good breakdown of this week's movie, uh, but I'm going to rip through all of that and hopefully get out of here in two hours or less. I am tired AF. Daylight savings time has done a number on me. I am from Arizona, and we don't do it there. No. It wasn't until I was in my mid to late 20s that I ever heard the phrase spring forward, fall back. I had never heard it before, ever. Really? So uh, yeah, we it just was not taught when I was growing up in Arizona because we didn't do daylight savings time. So uh, what I'm hearing is everyone's talking about, oh, you know, they're passing a law. They're gonna make uh, daylight savings time. Uh, they're gonna stop changing the clocks, and it's like, okay, but I know history enough to to know that we already did that in the '70s, and kids were dying at bus stops. Yes. In so rows. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if 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 uh, daylight savings time is truly going away. But there you go, episode 450. We're gonna rip through this because I'm exhausted. Jeff. Jeff. Now, Bunny, I am not calling you Jeff. No. You are still Bunny Williams. Okay, I don't want you to get confused. All right. Yes. No. Okay. Yes. Uh. J Jeff is no. the name that we decided to call this random potpourri of news, bits, skits, etc. Now, personally, I still prefer the alter the alternate title to this segment, the Betty White Memorial Monologue segment, brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Download today, but six episodes ago, we decided we agreed to call this segment Jeff, and so let's Jeff it up. Arnold Schwarzenegger has a new Netflix movie coming out. Okay. I wanted to talk about it a little bit. It's called Fubar. Yeah. And there's a preview that just came out. Now, uh, I didn't see the preview. I didn't bother seeing the preview because Arnold Schwarzenegger hasn't done anything worth watching this uh uh century let alone this decade so i didn't bother seeing the preview but this movie does intrigue me only because of the possibility imagine this bunny the possibility that maybe he says the title in the movie okay can you imagine with his accent, him saying that at all, that excites me. And it is totally fuba. Oh no, everything is fuba. Get the president to the chopper before things get fuba. Oh no, things have gotten too fuba. 
I'm excited about that. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Netflix originals, um, at least until the Ultraman movie comes out. So uh, that's that's that. Uh, Bunny! Yes? You're going to have to go back to that. You can't just gloss over it like that. Nope. Nope. I, I don't think that I can. I mean, literally, I don't think that I can. Okay. Uh, Bunny, hear me out, okay? Okay? Okay. Hear me out. I'm going to go to a weird play. A con- this is going to be controversial, okay? Okay. But I need okay. I need you to, to come with me here. Okay. I want to preface this. Uh, hear me out. By saying I'm entirely serious. I'm not doing a bit. I mean, this is a bit. But I'm not being funny. This isn't shticky. Uh, I'm serious, okay? Okay. Okay. I wrote a little scene. A little skit. There's three parts. I will be playing all three parts. But it is highly controversial. Okay. Based on a highly controversial topic. Um, this isn't me being sticky. This is serious. This is a topic. There's a topic. And I've never heard anyone talk about it. Ever. Ever. No one has ever mentioned this thing that I think about a lot. So, um, I've never heard anyone ever talk about this. And, and I... Maybe we should be talking about it. So I wrote a little skit, and I'm going to uh, act it out for you. Okay, Bunny? Okay. Okay. Now, um, there's th- it's a short scene. There are three people in this scene. And there I've heard it's people- controversial. It is very controversial. Extremely controversial. So there are two people talking over here, and then eventually over here, someone else will come in. This person who will be coming in eventually, you can tell that they're someone different because they're wearing sunglasses. Uh huh. Okay. But the two people here, they're just talking to themselves in the beginning. And then eventually, the guy with the sunglasses comes in. But he doesn't come in yet. It's just two people talking here. What are their names? One of them is named in this skit, but it doesn't actually matter what their names are. They are sort of interchangeable. Okay. 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 So here is the skit. It uh it takes place in a uh, recording studio. Okay. Okay. So two people talking in the beginning, and then the third one comes in. That's important. Yes, Eleanor. Yes, you can have those chicken nuggets. Uh, okay. So it's a recording studio. Hey, Dave. Hey, man. What's up? Nothing much. Are you ready to record music? You bet I am. Hey, has our fearless leader shown up yet? No. You know how he's always late, Dave. Ha ha. I sure do. Man, I love being in this band. And I love our fearless leader. Oh, yeah. So do I. I love his music writing style uh his his music is uh so uh fanciful yes his music is fanciful it's fanciful because it's it's all imaginative he has such a creative mind creating these fictions that are totally fake and are in no way red flags hey uh here he comes now hi kurt Hey guys, what's up? Nothing much. Uh, We're excited to record our new album. Are you excited? Yeah, I guess. Whatever. So, do you have a new? uh, Do you have a new song for us? Yeah, it's right here in this piece of paper. Oh, cool! What's the song called? It's called, I hate my life and I want to die and I'm going to die. I'm going to kill myself. I have a shotgun in my attic and I'm going to put it in my mouth and blow my brains out and die. I hate my life and I'm going to do it. This is a cry for help. I hate myself. (laughs) Awesome. 
Let's record it. Man, there are no red flags here. No one we should contact. No one who needs any help. I love this entirely fictional song. And let's go record it. This is going to be even better than our actual song entitled I Hate Myself and Want to Die. And this is going to be even better than the last song we recorded where you said the words, no, I don't have a gun over and over again for five minutes nonstop. No red flags here. Nothing that I should see coming. Nothing that I should stop. Let's go record. We're the band Nirvana. <laughs> and scene. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. I have heard no one talk about this before. Ever. I, I it, but, it is controversial because Courtney Love was not in this skit. She was not in the skit. But um, I, I, I saw some interview with Dave Grohl, and he's talking. He, he was talking about, yeah, I still have dreams that Kurt's still alive and that Nirvana is still together and that we're touring, but we're older now. We're in our 50s, and we're growing old graciously. And, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay, Dave, uh, if you wanted Nirvana to still be together, maybe you should have gotten someone the help that they so desperately needed. Because the signs were there. They have a song called I Hate Myself and Want to Die. And yeah. the chorus is ended someday over and over again. And it's like, oh, did you record that after the song where you said, no, I don't have a gun 30 times? I mean... I, I'm not saying that it's Dave's fault. I'm just saying that Kurt's not here, and now we just have a shadow of him that yes. occasionally pops up in a Muppet movie. Hooray! I'm just saying. It, the the How could you not see those red flags? Yes. I, I'm not saying that it, it, the two other living members of the band are responsible, but... You know, they probably could have done something to help. If you're touring all around the world with this person and you're recording this music, then, uh, yeah, the, there were okay, some flags. Okay, but to his defense, okay, this was pre-Facebook, so nobody knew the suicide hotline number. That's a good point. That is a good point. Yeah. 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 So, Bonnie. Yes. It's March. And for those of you unaware, March is my birth month. I came up with a great idea for our next episode. I am so excited, but I want to save it until right at the end. Oh, it's such a good idea. Okay. Uh, I have a lot to celebrate in my life. I have a lot to be thankful for. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm trans pretty soon. It'll be, uh, you know, two years that I've been trans and pretty soon it'll be a year that I've been on, uh, hormone replacement therapy on transitioning. I look amazing. I look amazing. I'm, 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 my birthday w is on the 22nd. I'm turning older than I look. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I used to be afraid of getting older, but now here I am in my 40s, and I don't see getting older as a bad thing anymore. There's a lot of positives to getting older. For starters, I don't have to download TikTok. No. Because it's understood that, like, I don't have to. I'm older. It's not a necessary thing for me. No. I am excited about that. You know, if my daughter Amber sees a funny TikTok and she wants to show it to me, she has to stand up on her bed, walk down the hallway into my bedroom and sit down next to me and show it to me on her phone because that's how old I am. <laughs> and I like that. Uh I I listen to new music. I 
expand my horizons and and uh, it's really easy with uh, Spotify with the spoofity and I I listen to new music but I don't really have to you know yeah if I stop listening to new music today that wouldn't be a crime but I know music enough I I have gotten to the point where I can say uh, Miley Cyrus is an amazing singer I'm, I'm happy about that Big yeah. fan of Miley Cyrus. You know she did an entire album with the flaming lips? Did she? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's called Miley Cyrus and Her Dead Pets. And it's kind of freaking awesome. You know, because you always knew she, she was a little bit into the... And and this album proves it. It's, it's out there. Yeah, I, I really dig it. Little bit into yeah, she's not just a little bit into it, but like her you whole get it. Family. Yeah, her whole family. Like, yeah, they just, grow. Like, yeah, Billy like, Ray. Like, keep forgetting about Billy Ray. Uh, huge supporter. And without a doubt, the best part about getting older. Oh, I can now believe anything I read on the internet. Yes, yes, she can. It is amazing. It's wonderful. I can just. I'm at that age where if I read something online and I decide that I want it to be true, I could start spouting out nonsense and people will be like, oh, well, Maylin is in her 40s. Honey, 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 no, no, no. My brother did that all the time. Honey, but and here's he the... That. She it up. And he Okay, but here's the thing, honey. According to Reddit user Twadfire6969, Joe Biden is a cyborg created by the lizard people. Okay? I can just start spouting off the absolute craziest nonsense. Anything that I want. No, I don't wear shoes anymore. You believe in shoes? <laughs> shoes are a psyop. Made created by the Dutch to distract you from all the socks that they steal while they're while you're doing the laundry. That's, That's right. why I don't trust the Dutch. They're always stealing socks from the Jews. Yeah. I'm going to pick just one random and completely normal thing to be vehemently against, you know? Um, excuse me? No. I don't... I'm, I won't take a penny. <laughs> See, I did my own research on pennies. And, uh... Uh... They give rickets to left-handed people. Yes, they do. Open your mind, pennies. That's what Fauci wants you to believe. Did you hear, Bunny? This is crazy. I read this online. They are putting chemicals in the water to turn the frigging frog straight. Wow. Apparently, they f first started putting uh, chemicals in the water to turn the frigging frogs gay, but then they put too much chemicals in the water to turn the frigging frogs gay, and suddenly we had flaming frogs. Hey, but can I also <laughs> tell you about an article that I read about some scientists who decided to take a cell uh, from a male mouse, and they did something with some stem cells, and they put it in an embryo, and they, they they fertilized it with another male, and they were able to grow a baby mouse from two men. They were able to grow a baby mouse from two men? Two male mice. Two, two male mice they were able to grow. Of course, they had to have a female to, you know, Birth it. They put it in the female and mouse's womb. But they were able to do that. I, I, Isn't that I, crazy? I, 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 I am concerned about myself for the relief that I felt when you clarified two <laughs> male mice. Well, they're working towards the humans, but uh, that's going to be a slow, slow, slow thing because they can't. Well, why why would two human males want to have a mouse? Uh, well, it used to be illegal, you know. I was a <laughs> I I was a big fan of two men and a mouse until uh uh what's his name Charlie Sheen left. Yeah, 
and they got that dude from that 70s show and it's like yeah yeah no thank you and then the mouth started going down the kirk cameron road yeah 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 not a fan so when you said remind me of a picture it was two women getting married and they were like uh we used our dog as a Flower, flower girl. I can't believe five years ago oh, this yeah. was illegal. And the guy was like, "I forgot homophobia existed." And I was wondering why you couldn't have your dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. So, so they put too much chemicals in the water, and the frogs became too gay, and the frogs were all ribbit. So now, <laughs> but the their pond was was amazing. Yeah, the so pond now, was clean. I got Natasha. No scum so, in that pond. So now they're putting testosterone and uh, Monster Energy drink in the water. Yeah. And so now, uh, all the frogs are like, "Ribbit, ribbit! Joe Rogan is a genius. Ribbit! I love titties. Nice titties." So. <laughs> Jet fuel doesn't burn a steel girder. Ribbit. <laughs> here's here's the crazy thing. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I did my own research. Betty White faked her death, and she is coming out to to, to become Joe Biden's new vice president. Uh, well, Betty White and Princess Diana are still alive. They're hanging out with Tupac and Elvis. Yeah. True. True. So, so there you go. Betty White's alive. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. And one thing about one thing that we now know about Princess Diana, you know, seeing as she's hanging out with Betty White, amazing jazz trumpetist. Oh my god, I heard about that. I can't wait to hear it. Yeah. I heard that yeah. Diana was really dirty. I heard that from a Michael Jackson song. Oh. I don't know why. No. no, I don't want a chicken nugget, Eleanor. Thank you. Um, Bunny. Yes. The only thing the Republicans have are culture war BS. Mass shootings are happening everywhere all the time. Kids are shooting up schools, and Republicans want to save our kids from drag queens. Yes. And history books. According to Republicans, RuPaul is more dangerous to kids. Than school shootings. GOP politicians are focusing more on drag queens than dead children. Pro life politicians are focusing more on men dressed as women than on actual dead kids. Yes. Um, and it's like, oh, someone shooting up an elementary school? Uh, nobody cares. We're focusing on the important things. Bugs Bunny just grabbed a, a tube of lipstick. Yes. We cannot let this happen. Oh, no. So here's what Republicans need to do. Cancel all the active shooter drills. That's not important. We need to start doing active drag queen drills in schools. Yes. I mean, if, if, if uh, the real danger isn't school shootings, but uh, drag queen story times. Let's start doing drag drills. Oh, well, no. Well, Kids. yeah. And, and I, I have that planned, okay? We would have a drag queen walk through the school, and when any of the children see them, they have to crush a beer can into their forehead. Oh, no. A drag queen is sashayed into the school. Quick, kids. Discuss NBA statistics and quote Joe Rogan. That will confuse and weaken the drag queen. Yes. So, yeah, they, we're on the same page there. Yes. On the, we're on the same page. Um, Bunny, I've got a, I got a movie pitch for you. Okay. Okay. This, this, is, a, this is a pretty um, insane idea. But it's a mockumentary about an old man. I think it would work better if it was an old British man. I'm not entirely sure why. But it's a mockumentary about an old British man. And uh, he collects bicycle pedals. 
Okay. Okay, and he's like, hey, hey, this is my collection of uh, bicycle pedals. This one is actually from 1947. It is the best one in my collection. You can see the uh, the spikes. And then he goes on about his history, about how when he was young, his dad bought him a bike, and the bike got run over, and the only thing that was okay was the pedal. So he held the pedal. And he would play with the pedal, and he loved the pedal. And he would hold the pedal of the bike, and he would imagine the whole bike. And it just became a habit for him to be obsessed with these pedals. So he tries, you see him going into a bike store and trying to, to like, a, so how much is this bike? Oh, it's $1,700. Okay, now how much for the pedal? Just the pedals. How much for just the pedals? And kind of like a, Kind of like a, a waiting for Guffman sort of a, a yes. sort of a movie, you know, a mockumentary uh, ad libs thing. But then the film takes a turn because yes. people make fun of him because it's like, oh, you must be the only person who collects bike pedals in the entire world. And he's like, there must be others. Let me get. Let me get on the internet. I'm going to get on the internet. I am here on my computer. There must be some other uh, bike pedals e enthusiasts. Uh, bike pedal collectors. Nothing, huh? Bike pedal enthusiasts. Nothing, huh? Okay. Uh, pedal files. Enter. Wow, a million entries. <laughs> oh, look at this. Someone has made this map that shows exactly where all the pedal files live in my town. Huh. I had no idea there were so many uh, pedal enthusiasts in my neighborhood. Look at that. So I printed them out. I will be going to each house and seeing if maybe they want to meet up. Huh. They seem to all be guys. Bald white guys. Oh, a couple of very young female teachers are on here. But primarily it's guys. And he 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 starts a, a like a like a monthly meeting of pedophiles, but he has no idea that he's the only one who collects bike pedals and he gets this group of like weirdo perverts that he thinks are also Timidum. uh Pedal collectors. I think it's a such a dumb idea that I think it's great. I I I I I, I like where you're going with this. It's really sweet until the guy just takes a. In many ways, it's inspired by Brian and Charles. It's yeah. kind of like this simple guy, and he messes up. But and finally, Bunny, um, I thought you of all people would understand and appreciate this. I came up with the single greatest movie review of all time. Okay. And I wanted to talk to you about it. Shit sandwich? So, huh? Shit sandwich? No. Okay. No, no, no. Even even better than that. So, uh, I was going to the movies uh, a few days ago. I didn't want to go see Avatar. I thought about seeing Jesus Revolution, but in my mind, uh, he's not Frasier. He's not some uh, 60s, 70s preacher. He will always be Darius Emmanuel Crouch III, a.k.a. the Rumble, who's yes. trying to steal the money blank. So, uh, Kelsey Graham, that's it. Uh, so, I, 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 then I saw that, what? This is surprising. Um, uh, Guy Ritchie has a new movie out. So I guess I'll go see this Guy Ritchie movie, and it's called Operation Fortune, and then the subtitle is Ruse de Guy, which is something in French, and they mention it like three times in the movie. I still have no idea what it means. They don't really explain yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, Ruse de Guy. I have no idea. Uh, and... I was concerned about going to see the movie because, hey, there's a, a what's his name? That guy who was in who starred in Snatch, who's now in all the action films. Statham. 
Jason Statham's in it, and Hugh Grant's in it. He was amazing in The Gentleman. And uh, that black rapper who did the rap song in The Gentleman, Fucks as a Bush, Bugsy Malone's in it. And, like, a lot of the usual suspects from Guy Ritchie movies are in it. Except now this one has uh, uh, Aubrey Plaza. And I love Aubrey Plaza. And I, uh, I, I'm a huge fan of Lock, Stuck, and Two Smoking Barrels. Snatch was a great movie. And then he had a period where I didn't give a crap. But his last movie, The Gentleman, wonderful film. We did it for the podcast. I freaking love that movie. I love that movie. Uh, uh, White, White Widow Super Cheese. Yes. So uh, okay, but I will. I I'm sorry. I will never forgive him for swept away. Oh yeah, yeah. Never swept swept away. Swept bad. away. I didn't necessarily like uh, his live action Aladdin either. The only thing I liked about that is that Nassim Pedron from SNL is in it, and she steals the show. Anytime you see her, she steals the show. So good for her. She deserves success. So, um, so I'm a big fan of of uh, a lot of Guy Ritchie films, and this one, I should have been excited, but the previews did nothing for me, and I didn't really want to see it. But I thought I like Guy Ritchie; I'll watch it. I'm sure I'll like it. So I'm watching the film, and throughout the entire film, I'm just thinking, what is wrong? What is wrong? What is this movie? What is it supposed to be? And why do I feel like this? And then eventually it hit me. I figured out what the movie was, what the movie was trying to be. And I came up with the greatest movie review of all time. Okay. Tom Cruise is in Mission Impossible. Sort of like uh, an American James Bond. But James Bond is always like one person out on a mission. And Mission Impossible is like uh, uh, James Bond, but now he has a team of all of these people who are helping him. Here's the tech guy. Here's the shooter. Here's the this. Here's the that. And so that's what that is. Mission Impossible is more of like a group effort, sort of a spy movie. So Tom Cruise does Mission Impossible. Rick Dalton wouldn't star in Mission Impossible. Yeah. But he would sure as hell star in a cheaper B movie ripoff of Mission Impossible, and that is Guy Ritchie's Operation Fortune. It's a Rick Dalton movie without Rick Dalton. Oh, okay. Boom! That is my review of Operation Fortune. It's a Rick Dalton ripoff of Mission Impossible, but instead of Rick Dalton. You have Jason Statham and Hugh Grant and Aubrey Plaza occasionally making me laugh. It's not a bad movie. It's also not very good. It's mostly harmless. But it is very much a Rick Dalton cheap ripoff of other more successful movies. Kind of kind of an asylum mock plus buster. Mm-hmm. I think you're going with, yeah. N- Which yeah. I have personally N- sometimes N- found more entertaining than the movie it was mocking. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that it's a mockbuster as much as it's a uh, ice pirates. Yeah. Or uh, it, you know, like because it's pretty good. I, that's why I said ice pirates and not Star Crash. Yeah. Because Operation Fortune isn't a bad movie. It's also not original. It's not unique. It's been done a bunch of times before. It's a Rick Dalton film. Yeah. It's a Rick Dalton ripoff of another more successful film. And that's Operation Fortune. It's one of those films where like, I, it just popped up in my head that Bonnie would call this like an airport movie. This is oh, not yeah. a movie that I will go out and see. But if I'm bored, I'm changing the channels on the TV. Oh, look, Operation is for Operation Fortune is on. Okay, I'll watch it, and it'll be fine. Yeah, I'll watch it because I'm tired of changing channels. Yeah, and that's Operation Fortune. It's yeah. in theaters now. There's no big rush. See The Gentleman instead. Oh, wonderful film. 
wonderful. I mean, that is exactly, exactly how I saw Jack Black's Gulliver's Travels. Yep. Yeah. Like I, 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 I am, I am tired of looking for anything anymore. This is here. Bucks is a bush. And that is it for Jeff this week. That is it for the monologue. Now, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be taking a very, very short break because we record this on Zoom and uh, there's a 40-minute time limit. So, uh, fun fact, during there are three parts of the show. There's the monologue, there is our history corner, which is what we're going to be doing now. And then finally, part three, where we get to our actual movie, and this week it's... Uh, Infinity Pool oh. by David Cronenberg's son Brandon. I really, really, really wanted to like this movie. I yeah. wanted to like it. Right here, <sighs> this guy. Yeah, <sighs> we'll get to it. I will say what I, I we, I'll just say this right now. To? Mia Goth, I freaking love her. She is amazing. I melt which one was she the the blonde the blonde the crazy blonde okay the crazy blonde one she was also in x and pearl and the suspiria remake and now she's in infinity pool and regardless of my feelings about the movie oh my god i love me a goth oh my god really please please kick me in the face please well, this 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 may not have been the best way to meet her. Yes, you should see X instead. So we're going to take a short break. We're going to come back with historic approximations. Really good one this week about Norman Mailer and uh, uh, people who like to stab people. Yes. People, people who stab people. So we will be right back. And with more, the Pope on film after this. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Eleanor. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Skitty, papa, do, wow, and break. Mm-hmm. 